Hey, just wanted to create a, a quick video to show how to change the location of your CAD data folder, meaning where ExoCAD is saving files, and also how to change the naming convention that's being used to create the case folders. So typically, when you save a case, okay, it'll look something along these lines. Okay, so it'll give you a date and it'll give you some information uh, the case ID which you can see up here and then it'll also give you um, some other uh, case specific number that's generated but this doesn't really help whenever you want to find a, a specific uh, patient so there's a way for for you for you to have the software create this type of um, naming convention okay and that's what I'm going to show you today so if we open Explorer and we go to where our software is installed we could go into dental DB the folder that's called config and then we are going to edit the default settings dash DB file now my recommendation is that you always copy this right just in case something goes wrong in the editing that, that you're doing um, and then you can edit um, the let's call the original file. So you have a copy of the original in case for whatever reason you make a change that doesn't work. So we'll double click this. I like to use Notepad++ just because it, it separates everything into colors and it's, it's a lot easier to see. Okay, so number one, where to change the location of the CAD data um, or, or the database where Exoka is gonna save all the cases. If we scroll down just a little bit, we're going to come to this data storage path. Okay, and here you're free to set the, the route or route uh, that you prefer. Uh, so I have all my cases in a Dropbox folder, which allows me to sync all my information between my home computer and my laptop whenever I'm mobile. And um, I really like this setup, at least for now, it's, it's, it's doing the work just fine. Um, also, um yeah so so you can you can set this to to any any location in your computer that you prefer so exocad by default is set up to save everything in this cad data folder but the problem with this is if you install exocad on your c drive then that's going to take all the the available space from your c drive uh really quickly so again, the recommendation um, is that you install ExoCAD in the C drive, but that you move the location of the CAD data to another drive or a cloud service like I have. Then uh, to change the naming convention, if you scroll down just a little bit more, you see this table here. So this tells you what each one of these letters represent. So date will be, yeah, so, so you can get that whatever you put in as the first name of uh, for the patient so whatever information you put here whatever information you put in the last name cell and so on and so forth and so what you want to do is change this down here to represent the format in which you want the 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 folder name to to be created so I have it as whatever I put in the first name, whatever I put in the last name, and the date that it was created. Now, it may be helpful for you to also create uh, the, uh, the practice name, so meaning the name of the doctor, that, that could also um, <clears throat> help you, and you can, you can um, either continue to add different uh, um, options, or uh, substitute any of these. Now, it is important that we mention the following whenever you make this change okay whatever other folders were created with the previous uh, settings meaning this up here this is the the default you will not have access to that case from the dental db so you'll be able to so j just to show you i'll be able to load um one of these cases so I'm gonna to try to load one of the the original demo cases. Let me go all the way to the bottom. Okay, so when I try to load it, the software will give me this error down here. 
because it's looking for this folder under a certain name and since that does not the name of this folder then I won't have access to it from from the dental DB now if you if you go to your um, CAD data folder you will have access to it <clears throat> so if I go here to to CAD data I will have access to those folders but again they're in this naming convention so I won't know which one it is unless I go one by one so you can still have access to your old cases you'll just have to import them one by one manually which um, take uh, which would take the, the the following process you can go to load you can say exocat project and then you will go and look for that um, you go and look for that look the location of that folder okay so let's just let's just look for something here really fast okay so I'll go to one of the folders I was created that way and then the dental project will exist and you can double click on that and the software will import all the information okay <clears throat> and so that's that's a way you will go about uh, still having access to those cases so <clears throat> to recap to change the location of the of the CAD data folder you can just create it here you can put whatever root you prefer and to change the naming convention you would change it here but this would um, not allow you to have access to cases that were created with the old naming convention and that's pretty much it